Basically, this topic just covered mainly of pla what plastic is doing to our earth, uh, the environment around us that we live in, and how it's affecting really the world. So yes, this topic was researchable. Yes, it was worthwhile. And yes, it was interesting. It just really gave us the base of what <clears throat> uh, plastic has been doing and how long it's been doing this damage to our environment for. <clears throat> so what makes it researchable? So it just provided rev many revised just facts and some theories from experts who were concerned about like these all around world problems that we are currently dealing with today. Um, the, the information that the article provided, uh, it was very resourceful and very, uh, it seemed like it was key information that, you know, would catch an expert's eye and that would seem useful to help solve problems with and then the author was just being cautious of like what should have been known through these articles. So like there wasn't false information, but the information was very closely detailed in what they wanted to be in there. Uh, what makes it worthwhile? So it provided a uh, useful times and like dates that seem pretty up to date. Uh, I believe like the latest date within this research was, I wanna say 2016. And the most updated date was 2020, of course. Um, it also suggested ways of like how we could make profit off of this plastic that's damaging our environment. And the more plastic the public can bring in will be the more profit that will be provided to them and along with a healthy environment. So it's a win-win. Uh, what makes it interesting? So the authors provided their own experiences of like what they've gone through and like what they've seen throughout the whole plastic pandemic of how it's been affecting them and how it's been affecting the people around them as well as the environment. Uh, they've also provided like existing knowledge on like such a plastic world that we live in is how they labeled it. <clears throat> okay, so the potential direction this could have gone or could still go is this will change not only our environment, but like our lives on earth, even for the aquatic life. Um, this definitely could be a profitable situation as long as we find the right solution in order for it to be profitable. And if there is change, this will stop causing harm to not only life above the water, but it will stop causing harm on life in the water. Concluding my TARP process, uh, overall, the TARP process taught me to look for research research, I'm sorry, research more thoroughly and how I can use it in future assignments. Um, it also actually made me make sure that this is worthwhile and that I'm not just wasting time on sources or just useful information. And that is my TARP project. Thank you.